Both Ukrainian and international experts emphasized that a solid foundation for the development of civil society in Ukraine was laid during the Euromaidan events. Ukrainian society has changed significantly since 2014. It has become more closely knit, strong and conscious. Over time, the confidence of Ukrainians in the civilian sector only keeps growing. At the end of the day, it was Euromaidan that made representatives of the civilian environment understand that they could either take responsibility for the country's future and introduce and promote changes through legislation, bylaws and the prism of relevant policies, or go the other way and repeat the same mistakes that were made in 2005. As a result, powerful public organizations started appearing in Ukraine. The reanimation package of reforms was one example. Today it is the largest coalition of public organizations, which consists of 84 public institutions. The RPR is currently being transformed into a legal entity that will continue promoting the appropriate changes in the country. Speaking in terms of numbers, there are about 200 draft bills, 150 of which have been adopted as laws. A lot of reforms were implemented with our direct participation. This includes anti-corruption reform, judicial reform, reform of law enforcement agencies, administrative reform, electoral reform, and medical reform. Many of our experts eventually became part of ministries and departments. We're doing everything possible to help Ukraine become a Western democracy. And it is in particular important for civil society groups to work together in coalitions and alliances. And there is the well-known example of the reanimation package for reforms, which was created five years ago. And that is a model, I think, that cr was created by the Maidan revolution and, uh, and uh, I believe has become a very successful model also for other countries uh, to look at uh, for inspiration. In 2016, the government developed and approved an action plan to implement the national strategy to promote the development of civil society in Ukraine by 2020, reinforcing the power of civil society institutions and attracting a wide range of public cooperation with central and local executive authorities are the main areas that are contributing to the implementation of the strategy. Ukraine is one of the countries that has not only allowed civil society to grow, but there is a, a, a governmental strategy for civil society development, which has framed the governmental policies and programs to support civil society. And so there is an active intention by the state to create an enabling uh, environment for civil society development. There is a huge demand for justice in Ukrainian society today. Therefore, according to experts, judicial reform should come first. Part of the Supreme Court has already been renewed. Reform of appellate courts is continuing. The next extremely important step for society is anti-corruption reform. Ukrainians believe that the fight against corruption is one of the two most important things that the state should focus on. The first one is defending itself against the aggression of Putin's Russia, and the second one is anti-corruption reform itself. The third important point relates to law enforcement, as the first two reforms cannot exist in a vacuum, separate from law enforcement agencies. That refers to the operation of the State Bureau of Investigation, to the launch of new institutions like the Financial Investigation Service, and the reform of the National Agency for Prevention of Corruption. At the end of the day, these three reforms cover the demand for justice in society. Another reform necessary for society is medical reform. After all, the lives and health of Ukrainians are of utmost value to the state. That's why I'm so happy today that medical reform is progressing today. We have achieved certain small successes to date, but there is a long road ahead of us because it is quite difficult to rebuild the post-Soviet health care system into a modern one, something that is built in certain parities. According to international expert Marcus Brandt, Ukraine has a favorable legal framework, which applies to all types of civil associations. The financial support for public institutions has increased significantly in recent years. Naturally, European organizations provide a lot of support. One should say that in the last five years, Ukraine has developed a type of civil society that many other European countries would envy uh, and uh, would, uh, would look at with uh, a lot of great respect. So the influence that civil, certain civil society groups have over the policy process as engaging in, in, uh, in policy making with the state 
is uh, at a very high level in Ukraine. In 2018, the UN Development Program launched a large-scale study of the virtues and inclusiveness of democratic processes present in 24 regions of Ukraine. The research initiative will last until the local elections in 2020. The goal of the project is to create effective, responsible and professional institutions at all levels by reducing the level of corruption and ensuring participation of the general public in decision-making. So from UNDP's perspective and also the perspective of other organizations supporting uh, democratic reforms, it is important that we are not perceived as interfering into the democratic process in this country. This is of course something only Ukraine society has to decide itself how it is governed. But for us as uh, neutral outsiders, it is important to try to create a level playing field so that the chances are equally distributed and that the chance to participate in elections, the chance to participate in, in democratic processes is not primarily determined by financial resources and by the connection with, uh, uh, with already established political groups. Ukraine has for almost 20 years now been following the path of building a legal democratic European state that's intentionally moving towards membership of the European Union and NATO. At the same time, civil society plays a significant role in the both political and economic life of the country. Non-government organizations are actively involved in the implementation of legislative initiatives and contribute to the promotion of key reforms in Ukraine.